Hi everyone, my name is Veronique and in this video I'm going to show you how to create custom permission levels in SharePoint Online and I'm also going to give you some best practices. Let's go! Before creating our own custom permission levels, let's have a look at what they are. I'm on a SharePoint site and I'm going to go into the documents library. From there, we're going to click on the gear icon and go to library settings, more library settings. And we have permissions for this document library. And here we have our usual suspects. When we create a team site, those are the SharePoint groups that are by default. And we have members, owners, and visitors. And you can see on the right hand side that we have permission levels. Each group is allowed to do specific actions. So the members will be able to edit, the owners have full control over the site, and the visitors only have read only. Note also that at the top I do not have anything specific in the ribbon except going back to the parent. I can stop inheriting permissions for that document library or I can check permissions. And this particular document library inherits the permissions from his parents, meaning from the top level site. Now let's go back into home and we're going to click on the gear icon, site permissions and advanced permission settings. We can see our three SharePoint groups, but this time we have more options in the ribbon and we can see the permission levels. So let's click on this and you have a little bit more information about what each permission level is doing. So the full control has full control on the site, the design can view, add, update, delete, approve and customize, and then we have the edit, the contribute permission and the read permission. And this is where we can create our own permission level. But before we do that, let's talk about the best practices. When you want to create or you want to modify a permission level, the best practice is not to touch the built-in permissions that we see. So for example, we have the edit permission and let's say that you like this permission, but maybe it is too much or not enough. We would not want to click on edit and then start modifying. If you want to start from scratch, we can click on add permission level and then we give it a name, a description, and we start ticking boxes. But there's an easier way if you're interested in one of the permissions already. So let's go back and I'm going to choose the edit permission. I'm going to click on it. And remember, I'm not going to modify this one. But if I scroll down, I have this copy permission level. And it's ticking all the boxes that was in the edit permission. And now I can give it a new name and start on checking boxes if I'm not interested in them. So let's give it a name. And we can also give it a description. And now I can start checking and unchecking what I'm not interested in. So for this particular example, I do not want the delete versions. So if I scroll down, I can see delete versions in here. I'm going to uncheck that. You can modify whatever else you're interested in. And then at the end, we're going to click on create. And now I've created my own permission level. And this permission level can be assigned to a group or even a user. So let's go back into permissions. So let's create a group. We're not going to change anything else for this demonstration, but we can see at the end that we have our permission level. So I'm going to tick that and click on create. Now, obviously, because I created the group, I am part of this group. So let's go back into home, gear icon, site permissions and advanced permissions. And you can see that now I have my new group with the correct permission level. And because the documents library was inheriting permissions, we should also see this group with that permission level assigned to it. So let's check documents. Library settings, permissions, and indeed we have our group test with the permissions level. And so that's how you create your own permission levels in SharePoint Online. 